Dr. Ikuru Alcott played a key role in the overhaul of Kenya's constitution. He's been involved in similar processes in other African countries. Liberia is one of those countries that sought to tap into his expertise. I met him here in the capital city, Monrovia, and through his eyes, we compare the Kenyan and Liberian processes. Well, I'm here to, uh, as, a, as a chief technical advisor and senior constitutional uh, advisor to the, to the Constitution Review Committee of Liberia. That Constitution Review Committee was set up by President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in 2012. Liberia never had the chance to implement its 1986 constitution because, you know, they came out of a 14-year-old civil war. So the idea then was that uh, Liberians need a constitution that is reflective of the realities today. It is a UNDP job, a position Dr. Okot has been holding from January 2014. It was advertised internationally. I had a comparative advantage having just come from a, a fairly successful constitutional making process in Kenya as the director of the committee of experts uh, that wrote uh, Kenya's constitution of 2010. His experience in similar roles in other African countries set him ahead of competition. Zimbabwe, uh, Zambia, where I was invited as an expert consultant, Tunisia and Egypt. And of course, uh, as an advisor also on policy and planning in the, in, the, in the Republic of, the government of South Sudan then before it became Republic in 2011. Dr. Aukot says, as compared to Liberia's process, the Kenyan one had a clear legal framework. The market difference is uh, uh, the, 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 the clear timelines and timetable within which we, we completed our, our process. We managed to do our process in just under two years. I think the Liberian process now uh, started in uh, 20, 2012 uh, up until now and uh, we are still waiting for the legislature of course to, to decide on the number of uh, 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 amendments to take through which means there will be another one year uh, according to Article 91 of the Liberian Constitution. Ekuru, who holds a law degree from the University of Nairobi, a master's degree in law in development from Warwick University in the UK, and a PhD in constitutional and administrative law from the same university, says, like in the Kenyan case, power is a contentious issue in the Liberian review process. Some of the key areas here is a reduction of the term limits of, uh, of, uh, of uh, elected representatives. Um, representatives here are elected for, I mean, the House of Reps, like equivalent of members of parliament in Kenya, are uh, represented, I mean, uh, uh, serve for a term of uh, six years, senators serve for a term of nine years, uh, presidents serve for a term of six years. Others are land, natural resources, a clause seeking to declare Liberia a Christian nation and dual citizenship. We had a very vibrant, uh, intensive, uh, public consultation process, including Liberians in the diaspora. The process is now in Parliament. Then the legislature, which is a Parliament, will then uh, agree on areas for amendment. Then those, after those, uh, that agreement, it will then follow the process of, of, of a referendum. At the time of this interview, Ekuru had received an invitation to undertake a similar job in Lesotho. The desires of the Lesotho uh, government is, uh, the kingdom of Lesotho is, to review its constitution, again, maybe to reflect the realities of, li of Lesotho now. Dr. Aukot calls himself a Turkana village boy who has gone places despite his humble background. He attended five primary schools, including Capedo Primary School. He is an alumnus of Cabaret Boys High School. Dr. Alcott wants Kenyans to take the issue of integrity seriously as a key aspect of the constitution that can have impact on their lives. This, the kind of leaders we get actually do not come from planet Mars. And I say this very strongly because, Alex, Kenya is the only country in the world with an, a, cons a chapter dedicated to leadership in its constitution. And true, when, when I was in the committee of experts as the custodian of most of those documentation, Kenyans actually wrote and said that we need to define a type and character of leader that we want. But look, they end up choosing people because they follow money, they follow popularity, they follow tribe, they follow regions, they follow the commercialization of politics. Ekuru is a leader of a movement in Kenya advocating for change known as the third way. 
he is whispered to be a presidential hopeful, and I asked him whether he would take up the challenge. Yes, so I, I have decided let these guys work day and night to look at the possibility of my candidature and also look at the idea of a, a political party that we can, we can use, including his philosophies. And yes, we are willing to actually uh, 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 challenge ourselves to go and tell our narrative, to tell our story about the kind of Kenya we want, the kind of leadership that we want. So yes, uh, this is, this is on the, these cards are on the, on the table. So that's how daring Dr. Ekuru Alcott is, both locally and internationally. For Daring Abroad, I'm Alex Chamwada in Monrovia.